నమో నమ ఫ్యూ డేస్ బ్యాక్ ఐ గేవ్ అ టాక్ ఆన్ మేధా సూక్తం ఇన్ ది గ్లోబల్ యోగా సమిట్స్ ప్రీ కాన్ఫరెన్స్ ఐ ఎమ్ షేరింగ్ ద టాక్ ఇన్ పార్ట్స్ హియర్ ఇన్ దిస్ సిరీస్ ఆన్ మేధా సూక్తం ప్లీజ్ డూ వాచ్ అండ్ షేర్ యువర్ థాట్స్ ఇన్ ద కమెంట్స్ ఆల్సో కైండ్లీ సబ్స్క్రైబ్ టు మై ఛానల్ తత్వం ఇట్ విల్ డెఫినెట్లీ హెల్ప్ మీ ఇన్ గ్రోయింగ్ దిస్ ఛానల్ ఆల్సో డూ షేర్ దిస్ విత్ యాజ్ మెనీ పీపుల్ యాజ్ పాసిబుల్ ఇన్ ఆర్డర్ టు స్ప్రెడ్ నాలెడ్జ్ Namaste, Namaste everyone. Good evening to everyone who joined this pre-conference. This session is brought to you by Spiritual Solution Center in association with Rotary Bangalore Global Yoga, Yoga University of Americas and Swami Vivekananda Yoga Research and Holistic Health Trust led by Yogi Devraj Guruji. Today's topic is Medha Suktam for Unlocking the Brilliance Within. Okay, so this is from uh, Yajurveda, Krishna Yajurveda. What a title this has been, right? So we are all waiting to you know, hear from the speaker. The speaker for this session is Acharya Srimati Shubha Vengri Krishnan. So a brief introduction about uh, Acharya Ji. Acharya Shubha Ji is a native Sanskrit speaker and a Sanskrit teacher. She learned Sanskrit from a very small age. from her mother who is a sanskrit scholar a retired professor and head of the department of sanskrit at the university of mysore in fact shivaji started learning sanskrit when she was in her mother's womb isn't it interesting till date she converses only in sanskrit with her mother and sister though shubha shubha did her engineering after one year at an it company she realized this is not what she wants to do in life so she completed the ma in, she leaves the company and then she uh, completes the ma in sanskrit from karnataka open university also she completed msc in vedic sciences from mit iiks pune she worked as a sanskrit teacher at akshar center of education a waldorf school in chennai currently she resides in netherlands and runs her youtube channel named tatvam where she shares valuable information about sanskrit vedas etc she conducts structured online classes for adults and kids through her organization called tatvam she is working as a sanskrita acharya at agastya gurukulam and taking uh, classes for their uk branch she is also working as a sanskrit teacher at pokrama foundation academy which is an ngo in bihar which provides high quality education for free of for free to the kids of pokrama village and surroundings okay she takes online classes there during the session if you get any question please post it in the chat and depending on the time available we'll try to get them answered in the meanwhile keep your notebook and pen handy for taking notes let's join our hands together to form the namaste posture and welcome acharya shubha ji over to you shubhaji you can please take our decision namaste uh, thank you very much uh, suvardhan ji for the introduction and i would like to first thank uh, spiritual solution center for uh, giving me this opportunity i also like to thank the rotary uh, global yoga and also swami vivekananda yoga research and uh, holistic health center for them also i would wish to express my gratitude and and also i would like to uh, express my uh, gratitude to my mother who gave me this treasure of uh, sanskritam uh, i will start with uh, the shanti mantram uh, it is usually chanted before the medha suktam so i will just chant that and then uh, begin the session ఛందసామృషభో విశ్వరూపోభ్యోధ్యమృతాత్సంబూవ సమేంద్రో మేధయా స్పృణోతు 
अमृत से धारणो भूयास शरीर मे विचर्षण जिह्वा मे मधुमत्तमा कर्णाभ्या भूरी विश्रुव ब्रह्मण कोशोसी मेधया पिता श्रुत मे गोपाय ओं शांत शांत शांति so uh, in this session i focus on the uh, on understanding the meaning of medha sukta uh, and uh, not not on the chanting part so first i'll tell you where you find the medha sukta in the whole corpus of vedas where do we find medha sukta then we'll discuss the uh, meaning of the word medha and then each mantra the meaning of each mantra and after that we will meditate upon the medha suktam i will recite the medha suktam the, that is the flow of this presentation so here uh, medha suktam we find this medha suktam in the rigveda and also in the yajurveda uh, in the yajurveda we have the krishna yajurveda which is more popular in south india and shukla yajurveda which is more uh, pre, uh, in use in north india where the medha suktam which is very popular is from the krishna yajurveda today what i am going to discuss with you is also from the krishna yajurveda actually the rigvedic and the yajurvedic medha suktam are same only thing the rigvedic medha suktam is little bit uh, more bigger it has nine verses whereas the yajurvedic medha suktam has six verses that is the only difference uh all vedas are divided into four uh, group uh, four divisions are there in each veda the first division first is the samhita part it is the mantra part where you get all the mantras next is the brahmana part which discusses the rituals uh, the procedure for the rituals like what is the mantra to be recited while washing the feet what is the mantra to be recited while washing the hands all those details uh, are mentioned in the brahmana portion samhita and brahmana are called the karma kandas uh, the aranyaka portion has lot of upasanas and also this is the uh, it's a transition phase where you start turning inwards whatever rituals were being performed externally the aranyaka starts to see them internally within us what is happening and uh, there uh, medha suktam is part of this uh, aranyaka and uh, it is part of this mahanarayana upanishad the mahanarayana upanishad which is in the aranyaka portion also tells how yagna is happening within us so such things are described in the aranyaka portion and the last portion is the upanishad portion uh, this is a completely gnana kandam where uh, questions such as who am i what is the purpose of life what happens after death all these questions are contemplated upon very deeply so in my opinion uh, medha suktam is in the aranyaka portion because Uh, to contemplate and to truly understand the uh, answers for these questions like who am i what is the purpose of life all this to understand this we need a very sharp intellect so uh, medha suktam prepares us to uh, actually delve into and the think deeply to find uh, the answers to these questions so that is why medha suktam is in the aranyaka portion in the preparation uh, preparation phase now uh, we will see the meaning of this word medha uh, so sanskrit is an inflectional language that is for each word each word is not named randomly there is a purpose behind it like for example if you take fire in english we have only fire is the name for that but in sanskrit for fire we have 43 different names why do we have so many names for one thing 
because each name describes its property like for example shushkaha is an is the name for fire because it has the property of drying up things vanhihi vahati iti vanhihi because it takes the havis from us to the devatas that was the belief so vanhihi is another name so like that we have 43 names so every word in sanskrit if you analyze it you will truly understand what it exactly is saying oh, before that i'll tell you the uh, suktam what is a suktam it is collection of mantras and uh, mantra is uh, if you analyze this word it is mananat trayate iti mantra that is if you keep on contemplating upon it it will uh, rescue you from bondages so that kind of a thing is the mantra and the uh, vedas mainly they tell about yagnas veda hi yagnartham abhipravritta it is mainly the yagnas but yagna is not just putting uh, things into the fire that is one type of yagna but there is there are also other types of yagnas like tapo yagna gnana yagna I, the vedas themselves say this you can either perform the yagna physically or parallelly in uh, many places you will see this ya evam veda even if you truly understand the meaning that is also uh, equivalent to performing a yagna physically and it will give the same uh, phalam fruit uh, uh, as what you get by uh, doing the yagna physically you will see this ya evam veda in many places and now we will see the meaning of the word medha one way of interpreting this word medha is matau dhiyate abhivyajyate iti medha the wisdom that manifests in the intellect is medha abhivyajyate means manifests dhiyate means it holds medha is also a retentive memory that is also medha uh the problem what happens when we read english translation is they will just put medha as wisdom but there are many other meanings for that word medha it covers uh, so many other things uh, that is why we need to uh understand try to understand the uh, sanskrit wo- word actually another way of uh, interpreting medha is me dharayati iti medha dharana shakti is it is intense concentration so much concentration that you become one with the object on which you are concentrating so this medha is that dharana shakti me is for me she gives this dharana for me that is medha uh, in our tradition especially the vedanta uh, studies these three things are considered very important but it applies to any other field one is shravanam mananam and nididhyasanam shravanam is listening then mananam is contemplating upon what you have heard and then nididhyasanam so for shravanam also you need very good dharana shakti then only you will listen completely and uh, for mananam constantly contemplating on one thing for that also you need very good dharana shakti and the third happens automatically nididhyasanam where uh, you know that that knowledge has become a part of you you know it in your heart there is no it, it is a state where you know it without the uh, need for words the knowledge is there but there is no need for words you know it that state is nididhyasan so the medha also means the that dharana shakti that is also included in the medha and the third meaning is medhate sangachate asyam iti medha that is it is a place where you get conclusions that you a person may have lot of knowledge lot of memory everything but if he is not able to conclude anything out of it then it is of no use so this is the place where we, uh, conclusion is reached sangachate also means union the place where union happens what union 
you will come to know at the end of this presentation.